Hi, this is Dale O'Shields, pastor of Church of the Redeemer in Gaithersburg, Maryland. Thank you for joining me for devotional time today. And we're going to take a few moments and talk about the word hope. We've been talking about it this week, how it applies to various circumstances in our life. I want to talk today about hope for your future. You know, so many times we spend a lot of our time and energy focused on what's happening tomorrow, what's going to happen five years from now, what will happen into our future. And we have a lot of interest in the future. And actually, the Bible tells us that we can actually have hope for our future. Jeremiah 29, 11, uh, it's a familiar verse to a lot of people. Let me read it for you, and then we'll talk about it just for a moment in its application for you today. Here's the words of the prophet Jeremiah. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Notice that God says, I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, and my plans are not to harm you, but my plans are to give you hope and to give you a future. This is so vital. And I think some would say, well, you know, that was a that was a promise to Israel in terms of their future coming out of Babylon and so forth. I understand the context. Uh, and it's certainly an appropriate context. It's God speaking to his people, says, I'm going to bring you back to your homeland again. But there's a broader application for you and me. See, every word of God has application for our lives. God wrote these things down in his word, gave them to us in his word, so that we can hold on to them in our lives as well. So don't ever doubt that this is a promise for you. God says to you, I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. My plans are to give you hope, not to harm you, but to give you hope and a future. Notice that, to give you hope and a future, that you can know that your future has been secured by God, that as you continue to walk with Him and serve Him and seek to trust Him and seek to just live as you can live in dedication to Him, God says, I've got the future covered for you. You know, so many times we do spend uh, our energies and worry and anxiety and fear about what is to come. Today, I want you to lay all that aside and say, you know what? I don't know everything about my future, but I know the one who has my future. That's God, and my hope is in Him. So trust Him. The days ahead are good days for you.